ever experienced that heavy, drowsy feeling after indulging in a hearty meal? That, dear friends, is known as a food coma. A food coma, or postprandial somnolence if you want to get technical, is a common phenomenon that many of us have experienced at least once in our lives. It's that all-too-familiar feeling of lethargy and sleepiness that sneaks up on us after we've treated ourselves to a particularly large or rich meal. And no, it's not just because we're stuffed to the brim. There's actually a scientific explanation behind this. Certain foods, especially those high in carbohydrates and fats, can trigger a state of relaxation and drowsiness. The process of digestion requires a significant amount of energy and increases blood flow to the digestive system. This can reduce the supply of oxygen and blood to the brain, making us feel tired and sluggish. The duration of a food coma can vary, but generally, it lasts for a few hours. It's a temporary state but it can be quite inconvenient, especially if you have work or tasks to do post-meal. So, why exactly do we fall into this sleepy state post-feast? Let's dive in to find out. The main culprit behind food coma is our body's natural digestion process. When we consume a large meal, our system kicks into overdrive, diverting blood flow from our brain to our digestive system. This shift in circulation can lead to a feeling of sluggishness or what we commonly refer to as a food coma. Now, let's delve a bit deeper. Certain nutrients, particularly carbohydrates and fats, play a significant role in inducing a food coma. Carbohydrates, for instance, can cause a rapid spike and crash in blood sugar levels, leading to feelings of fatigue. Fats, on the other hand, trigger the release of certain hormones that slow down digestion, contributing to a sense of lethargy. But what about that drowsy feeling we often experience after a hearty meal? That's where insulin and tryptophan come into play. When we consume carbohydrate-rich foods, our bodies respond by releasing insulin. This increase in insulin production promotes the absorption of certain amino acids by our muscles, leaving tryptophan, a sleep-inducing amino acid, free to enter our brain. Once there, tryptophan triggers the production of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that promotes feelings of relaxation and sleepiness. So, it's not just the quantity of food that matters, but also what we eat. Now that we've uncovered the mystery behind food coma, how about we look at ways to avoid it? Yes, you heard it right. It is possible to prevent a food coma. The secret lies in mindful eating practices. You see, the size of your portions matters. Instead of piling your plate high, opt for smaller, more frequent meals. This way you avoid overwhelming your digestive system and triggering that dreaded post-meal slump. Another key aspect of mindful eating is balance. It's not just about how much you eat but also what you eat. Meals that are high in protein and fiber are your best bet. Protein keeps you feeling satisfied while fiber helps slow down the absorption of sugars, preventing that rapid spike and crash in blood sugar levels. But it's not just about the food, staying hydrated is crucial too. Water aids digestion and helps you feel more awake and alert. So don't forget to drink plenty of water throughout the day, not just during meals. Now here's something you might not have thought of. Light physical activity after meals. A short walk, some gentle stretches, or even a bit of housework can do the trick. This helps to kickstart the digestion process and keeps the sluggishness at bay. Remember, every food coma can be prevented. It's all about listening to your body's signals and eating mindfully.